battery as we speak, but I'll try and charge it as we go. But when we get in there, finally, when we get in, ooh. oh, it looks like Thorn Central here yeah? and Slippity Doo. Slippy doo da. Right, okay. Well, I better. I reckon I better get my gloves on. This is not going to end well otherwise. Look, secret vault stickers prepared, ready. Get my gloves on because I don't want to have to. Well, I can't wash my hands once once you get dirty hands. That's it. So let's get the gloves on. The marigolds. Oh, somebody pulled up up there. Somebody just pulled up. Look, a car. A car. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what are you doing in there? Look at the police. Look like a right misery date. Ow! Thorns. Thorns. Oh, probably ring the police now because it'd be like, oh, I just saw some people. Yeah, doing what? Well, nothing really, but. But they were up by this place. Yeah, doing what? Well, nothing really, but they were just up by this place. All oh, right, okay. Don't worry, we'll send 20 police cars along now, madam. And they usually do. So, uh, thorns. Hang on, I better put my hoodie up. This skin serious. There's a lot of thorns around here. Just get that hoodie up. I don't want to get scratched in the face. Wow. Ooh, getting scratched on my shoulders. Oh, scratched on my other shoulders. It's not going very well, this actually. Um, right, how to get through here without getting me camera completely sc scooped. Whoa. Oh, here we go. I'm glad we got somebody who knows where they're going because he knew that this little entranceway was there. Oh. Hello. Hello. Have you not got your uh, stabilizer? Do you want to hold this for us a sec? If you don't mind, I'll disconnect myself from said beastie. Sound like a bloody Russian tennis player. Honestly. <laughs> <Obviously. laughs> Something just whacked me then. All right, okay, lights down. Ooh. Oh, you can see it's a mill straight away, can't you? Yeah. Wow, yeah. Oh, look at all this. Nice little trap doors above us. Proper mill. Woo. Hey, stick a camera up there, have a quick look around. Whoa. Oh yeah, it's like lots and lots of equipment. Wow. Hey. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Yet again. Another. Oh, well, your battery's dead. Yeah. No way. Another case of a company just walks away, leaves all the equipment. Bye. Somebody else's problem now. We just left all this equipment behind. Bye. Yeah, we're not going to pay any council tax anymore. We're just going to dump the building and make it an eyesore and just leave all the equipment in it and somebody else will have to clean it up. Bye. But you try do it. You try leaving your bin outside your door, your door like late at night. But your neighbours will be reporting you to the council. You know, the police come round and threaten you. But if you leave a whole building full of all stuff like this, not a problem. Glad to have you on board, sir. Yeah, this looks mad. It looks like a printing press, if, if anything. It looks more like a printing press, but it is for uh, fabrics. That's nuts. I've never seen anything like this. That's Are you saying a uh, printing press actually makes complete sense to what um, Sam was saying earlier? Maybe... Well, they used to, um, after it comes uh, down as like a mill mill. After it comes out of the mill, then they um, put printing yeah, stuff on it. Mmm. Yeah, because this looks like a printing press, to be honest. It looks like you sort of send things up and down and in through sort of probably in to dry. They go up and down through a drying process, probably. Up and down through heated chambers. Let's see if there's any heated chambers in here, somewhere where they can bake on the... Uh, bake on the go. Bake on the stuff. See, like this is, this is where they'd have the heat, probably. So it goes through these chambers. 
and then it would be dry by the time it comes out the other side. There's lots of um, pipes in, yeah? So I reckon pipes for heat. What do you reckon? Pipes? It makes sense. Pipes for heat. Wow, look at this. Yeah. Big, big pipes here with foam all around it. Yeah, look. It be hot. Hot pipes. All the way up. And it's like, it's going like ching, ching, ching. So they want it to go on the longest path possible. It goes back and forth, back and forth. Now, to get that started would be an absolute pig because somebody has to go in there and actually loop it to one end, stretch it down to the other end, loop it, stretch it down, loop it, stretch it down. And then when it's finally connected to the other end, then they can start the run. That would be a pig. We've got some equipment down here. Motors and gears and things with belts. A machine that goes beep, like Star Trek. Yeah. Well, why why take it away when you can just dump it for somebody else to deal with, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. There's the pipes, look. So that's the heated pipes. I reckon we we sussed that out before we, before we even got close to it. That's mad. More containers. I've got a load of this one. I've got a little naily things there. That's weird. Little naily bits, look. Maybe it's to stop uh, static. Maybe it's to build up static there because the fabric going through here and getting drier and drier and drier. Eventually, once it gets to a certain dryness, it'll start producing static. See, they've got them up here as well, little nails. I wonder if it's just to take off the static, discharge the static, so they don't get little fires and explosions. This is all cork. Cork. Asbestos. Ooh, asbestos. Don't touch, Matt. It's more of the same though, it just goes on and on and on. So it must have been a hell of a distance of um, material once you got it through all of these zigzags. It's been one hell of a distance. We're doing it on this scale of production they were creating. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was the biggest in the south. Yeah. The south yeah, these are interesting. Are these blowers, like sideways blowers or? Are they possibly conveyor belts by the looks of that? Could be, but, but but I would imagine it was going that way. So why would there be side conveyor belts going that way? Unless it was a drip tank to take drips out or something like that. I don't know. It's weird though. What what's different about this end then? Well this end you can't see the you can't see the pipes. You can just see these at this end. So you can't see the pipes any longer. It's just flat. Flat in there. It's weird. So I wonder what that would be then. Hmm. Oh, trying to work it out as we go because we're not experts even though you say why do you talk such shit it's because we are trying to work it out as we go you know we are not experts if you're an expert on this sort of stuff then feel free to enlighten us but don't take the mic because we haven't got a clue <laughs> so there's fans in here Ooh, fan blowers so yeah Fan blowers from this end. So the fans come through this end, going all the way up there, and they're going that way. And then, hmm. And then there's the heated elements as well. But they've got to have a constant flow of air through the whole machine. So that's from this end. Uh, but ah, there's the rollers. There's the return rollers. So you get one comes in, returns, goes down the other end, comes this way, returns, comes this way, returns, comes this way, returns. There's the rollers actually down there. And here is a box full of absolutely bugger all. <laughs> <laughs> like, subs like, subscribe for this. There's probably an animal in there. Actually. Rattle jump out now. So here we are. Here's the return rollers. That's pretty crazy. And there's filters here. See, the air is coming through, but it's also filtered, so they can probably keep taking this out and cleaning off the the fabric, oh, yeah. fabric gunk, you know. But it's all about heat and air in this. It's all about heat and air and keeping it going as long as you possibly can. I wonder if you can actually walk down to this end on this side. It's not as friendly. I don't know if I really want to do it. It's going to be the same, isn't it? It's going to be the same, but it's also a lot harder to walk down here. So... <clears throat> Let's do it for do it for the channel. Get squished. Ah, oh, that is properly squishy meat. Oh. He's got big. Really there's there's wood above us, so it's like you walk on this, walk above it, on top of the machine. Well, it does look rotten. I was going to say. So when we get up there, that is going to be very scary. 
but I can't I can't see anything that wants to Yeah, yeah, there's another one there. Yeah. Are we going to be able to get out easily down here? <laughs> They're going to get tighter and tighter until we can't. Oh, there we are. Oh, Mr. Luke. And there's more bearings. Look, there's the, the bearings and rollers. So there's starts at the bottom, more, 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 and more chain at the top. So we've got chain at the top, chain at the bottom. So it pulls it at the bottom, pulls it at the top. But the, these rest of them are probably just free running, free running rollers. So, look at that chain though. Chain. Yeah, this is why people used to die. It's because of equipment like the, like, like this. Really? Yeah, because they had to get in it, didn't they? They had to get inside the equipment to feed all the things through. And it used to be children used to do a lot of this work. Yeah. And, and you used to have chains and things like this there. And of course you could have a child in there, loads of noise, you wouldn't know the child was in there. Somebody starts the equipment, boom, child's is squished. You know, and here's the rollers, look. I mean, they're, they're, whoa, something just fell out of it. But there's the rollers. They got a metal one and a wooden one. And, you know, it would, yeah, a bit thicker. But I think they probably want to, they wanted to use the wood because it grips better, but they have to use the metal to dissipate the static every once in a while. And, and again, more static things here. Oh, right, that's what they're for, yeah. I would imagine, because if you're working at speed, you imagine when you've got two pieces of material like on your bed, and you lift that material off, you get static, don't you? Yeah, and yeah, when you yeah. pull it out of a tumble dryer, as you pull it out of the tumble dryer, you get static. Yeah. Well, this is a heated tumble dryer, basically, where it's like, it's not a tumbling, it's basically a heater, and you've got lots of fabric, and as it goes through it, it's building up static charge, and you've got to discharge it, discharge it, discharge it, because it could come out here, and actually, bang, it could actually right. spark somebody. <laughs> Probably not at the wet end, but at the dry end. Not when it's wet. Oh, and look up here. We've got bits of felt on this. Bits of felt, bits of rubber for adhesion. So this is probably the bit that gripped. This is the bit that had to pull it through. So they had to have these little rubber, rubber stickers, rubber suckers sort of thing and felt. This is the bit that needed to do the pulling. And there's a flapper here as well. Look, it's a flapping device that sort of goes chunk, 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 chunk. See, it's a, some sort of flap. I mean, this is and too old, to honest, it's connected to that. Yeah, it's connected to that. So as this turns, this flaps in and out, flaps in and out, flaps in and out. So every rotation of this, you'd have one flapping in and out of this thing. So it may be this was a tension device. It would actually pull pull the material in and then let it loose, pull it in, let it loose, pull it in, let it loose, so it could make its way through. But this is the bit that probably did the work, pulling it in, because it would pull it in tight, then release it, and it would go shink in there, pull it in tight here, shink in there, wow. pump, shink. So it's interesting when you look at these machines, what you can kind of work out, you know? And this looks like something that's designed to carry liquids away because it's got this metal thing it's designed and there's underneath it as well there's a hole in the floor which is a drain so it looks like any li liquid that came out there would drop away look at the size of this look at the size of this roller wow wow proper industrial kit yeah and and all the bits here have got um Got the uh, the little grippers, or is it for static? I wonder. Now, what's this big lever here? Well, that's connected to up there. So, look at this. It's got the name of the company here. It's a Kranz Soen. K R A N T Z So S O E H N E from Aachen. Aachen is in Austria. Aachen is in Austria, and I know somebody who lives in Aachen. I know somebody who lives in Aachen, so that's nuts. He might be interested in this. This came from where th this um, his doctor is a doctor as well, actually. But this came from where you live. This equipment came from where you live. This is look. This is more modern. That's quite modern. So they might have been using this not that long ago. It's amazing to think that something as old looking as this could have possibly been in use. Not that long ago. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. So would they would they pull all the fabric in from down here? Is this where they would pull it in from? You know, maybe rolls on here, rollers and 
rolls of stuff. Who knows? Right, well, they've all gone in here, so I'm going to have to follow them now. And I need to get a battery on this, otherwise this is going to not be recording very long. Ooh, blimmin' heck. Well, we thought we had it good just a minute ago, and then and then it becomes ten times as good. <laughs> You've got all the um, all the power rollers, distribution of power all the way down through, through belts. So there's a machine either at this end or that end that's supplying the power, and then the takeoff belts are there, look. See them? Let's go have a look at some of these takeoff belts. Yeah. Huh? God, it goes down the other way as well. This is some old school stuff. I mean, this this is a this is a gold mine. This place, it's a gold mine for like explorers and photography. And I mean, look at the, look, look at this. This is bananas. I've never seen anything quite like this. It's like a little they built like a little shed on top of this equipment. Look, it's like a little shed. Jess is probably in her element here. Yeah. There's going to be some good photos coming out of this. Wow. Whoa! Look at this! It's massive. It's absolutely massive. And the wood is rot rotted off this now because of the rain that's getting in, and it's like rotting the the wooden rollers. But imagine they would have been in, in w use for a hell of a long time, probably covered in liquid because these are these are dipper tanks. I think these are for dipping and dyeing. So they would have put um, put the fluids down there, and then they would have. Uh, dip things in and then roll them, squeegee them through there to, to get the the inks to stick on the material, but also so there's not too much ink, so it then squeezes it back out once it's got through. But these are dipper tanks, aren't they? Dipper and squeezer tanks. It's a bit like, um, what do they used to call them? The old, um, those things, squee when you had a handle on them and you used to dry your washing, just put your washing through through things like this and you'd actually, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, handles. It was like old granny would have them, you know? And you wash and then you'd put it through, put it through there, it it squeeze it squeezes it and gets all the water out of it. See, and that's, it could be to get most of the water out, but it could be because they're putting inks in here and they're trying to like bleach. They could be bleaching, they could be inking. Yeah, so it's all done, not, yeah. Um, say if I the thing here, like, would they not be rolling it in, bringing it out, squeezing it off? Mm. Because they'd have like nearly instant dry, wouldn't it? Mm. Well, this is a collector, isn't it? This is a collector, and then they dip it probably, and then it comes up the other side and it squeezes it all the excess off yeah. back into the tank. Mmm. Good use of ink. And all of these up here, you see all these little round things, they're all the power takeoffs. So in the old days, it might have been steam run or water. You know, they used to have water mills. Now, in fact, there's a water mill right at the back, isn't there? There's water. Yeah. There's water. So this may have been water driven. May have had a water wheel. Wow. And all the water would have come in and driven all of these up here, and they would have belts on them, and the belts would then attach from there, up there, onto this bad boy. Wow. You've got to be careful, because there's, there's big, um, big gaps. drains it's in the floor. Deep, yeah. You know? But actually, it would but, kind of make sense. I think there's a little something around here, um, yeah. which I'll show you in a minute, which goes a little bit underground, a big tunnel. It looks like they use a big <laughs> wheel there. <and> <coughs> But this is made by James Bailey Machine Maker from Slaithwaite, Huddersfield, England. Now, of course, Yorkshire was very famous for its um, cotton industry. Yeah. And that's where some of this equipment has come from. But a lot of children used to die in this equipment because they would use children to get into the parts of the equipment that uh, adults couldn't get to. So kids were often sort of sent in to the looms and the weaving and, in, and, and they'd start the equipment up, sometimes by accident as well. You know, the equipment would start up by accident and uh, kids would be inside and they'd be mashed. So look at this, old electrical. Oh look, it's, a, it's a, actually got a speed controller, look. This is a speed controller. See, so it connects to different contacts to different speeds. That's, that's well Frankenstein, that is. Yeah, so that's you can speed up. Speed up or slow down. I mean, this might be a master controller for the big motor over there. Well, there's the big wheel, and it's a gear wheel as well. So what you'd have is that big wheel there would go onto a small motor down there, but that would then gear it so that it's basically producing a hell of a lot of torque down there. So let's have a look at this big gear wheel. A bit like on your bike. You go from a very small pedals, you go from your small pedals to a bigger cog, yeah, but then these are all smaller cogs, 
you know. But if that one wasn't big and that one wasn't turning fast enough, that wouldn't be able to power all those down there. But, hmm. But there's a lot of sumps and tanks and things like this. There, yeah, but yeah, it's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna check my uh see if I can find some power for my things. I don't want to stop recording, so let's come back to you in a minute. Well hell, we're big, we're black, and we're back. <laughs> so um so what this stuff is. Uh this is a nice little bit of equipment here. Nice bit of kit. And this is made by uh, Sellers & Co. Sellers & Co from oh, Makers, Huddersfield, England. And there you go, you've got your uh, belt power takeoff again. Belt power takeoff, but I'm not seeing belts here though. I'm not, where are the belts on this side? Oh, there they are. Oh, they are there, sorry, I'm just miss, miss there's the belts, the belt drive belt drive to here but it's easy to get uh, dripped on in this place I'm getting my head is getting a bit boing drippy look at this this is this is maybe the material the last set of material that ever came off this thing is kind of just being left and draped here over it and you've got um, look like chair legs you know chair legs it's amazing this material gosh it's just crazy 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 so let's have another quick, uh, quick scan around so yeah there's a lot of a uh, lot of windows have been lost in this place as you can see up there a lot of windows are out and, and basically a lot of drips so you know, the ceilings seen better days, but I would have thought somewhere like this could have been a museum. You know, they could have done this out as a museum for what, what it would have been like to to operate a real mill, you know. I would have thought that's what they would have done, but So there we are, look more more cloth. More cloth just draped in there. Look green cloth this time. Oh it seems like green cloth or but maybe that was the last stuff they produced in there. Yeah, that's still some I'm just wondering, yeah, because there was more, there was some on that one over there. So that was that, that last material that ever went through it. Wow. I mean, this place would make an amazing museum. Yeah, it would. It should be a museum, huh? Before it completely disintegrates. I mean, you know, you can see the, the belts there, belt drives again. And here you've got the master, master sort of um, system going right the way through. So again, there's probably, ah, there's a big old, can you see the master drive wheel down there? Oh, wow. It's actually yeah, hidden yeah. behind that white board oh, yeah. and it's bloody huge. It's bloody huge. Well, now that is going to have some gear action on it. That's probably the motor that drives that. Yeah, definitely. Little wheel, massive wheel, <laughs> right? So the torque coming off that is going to be immense absolutely immense unstoppable torque there's the there's the power wheel there's the power wheel and as you can see it's it's just a shiny old wheel because it's going to be belt driven and look at this bad boy I'll come around there now i have to watch out because it's floors a bit we he whoa look at that in fact it's got two wheels yeah so they can change speeds or maybe because this one is lined up with that right hand one they stopped using that one they may have been in use at one time maybe when they wanted a bit more torque a bit more speed but this one it's going to there so you've had a big old band now that band is maybe lying on the floor might be just lying on the floor where it's disintegrated hmm so have they got another one of these motors over there Another motor. Well, maybe that's the one that drives the bigger side then. God, this is getting interesting. It's all falling apart though. I mean, look at that in there. Wow. Big motor room. Big motors. Big motor room. Whoa. Getting dripped on. Getting badly dripped on. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh my god. 
So this must have been the old motor, I think. Look at the size of that compared to my hand. So that's the old motor, and that's the old stators and, and electrics, yeah? Now this one lines up more with that bigger one on the right-hand side. So that was the one that was previously in use. That lines up directly straight to that. So when that was taken out of action, they used a faster one, a faster motor, but to the smaller one. So these are the, this is the motor room here. Wow, we found a motor room. And there's more motors. More and more and more. And guess what's behind the motors? Guess what's behind the motors is water. So that would have been a water wheel prior to the electrics. So look at the size of that. This was originally water. I'm just looking above me, make sure there's nothing that's going to drop on us. But um, yeah. Oh, there's a belt. Yeah, look at the big there's a belt that's attached to, man. There must be a big water wheel then, is it? God, look at that. Look at that. These are all the electrical magnetic contacts, look, you know, they, that's what we've been producing the magnetism to actually send the thing around. Got nothing but pigeon poo in, yeah? And we've got lovely speed controllers. Ching, ching, ching. They actually seem to, yeah, speed controller. Oh, look. Oh, it's, it's nothing, it's taking the bit off the back, but there would have been a speed controller mechanism in there. Nice, though. Right, so, oh, blimmin' heck. These wheels are getting bigger. Yeah. And bigger, and bigger. Now I wonder how much torque you get off that then. <laughs> that is the one that goes through the wall to the main side, which we showed you earlier on. That is it. That's the main drive shaft for everything we first saw when we came in. That's it. That big wheel. And guess what I think's on the other side of that wall from this big wheel? Is a water wheel, or would have been a water wheel. Or it must be connected somehow to a sluice or something where the water's going yeah, through that, producing that window is that look yeah there's a big pond out there isn't there? there is and i i think there must have been something like that now i flew it with the drone but i didn't see any evidence of a water wheel no, maybe it's gone you used to be able to get down to it but it's two side openings here yeah on the outside you used to have it down to it but it's a bit overgrown now yeah where we, where we come in. but the size on that wheel oh it's my god crazy. i mean let's just uh see if i can i can't turn my my uh, my light doesn't want to turn. So hang on, you have to bear with me. My light don't want to turn. Uh, something like that. Well, it's going to be a bit shitty. Right. So there we go. So that's the upper part of it there. I mean, it's hard to get the scale, really. I mean, do you want to stand in for a second? Stand in there, and I'll try and show the scale of it. So there's there's Luke, and he's at the bottom of it. And as you can see, yeah, and it goes all the way up there. It's huge. And look at these these systems here. It goes right through. There's belt drivers and weights, probably stabilizer weights. And there's a, a delinking mechanism there. So that delinking mechanism is like a, a clutch. Can you see where it goes in? See where that clutch goes in? There. So you can actually pull that back and it will release and it won't drive. So it won't drive the mechanism. But when you feed that mechanism forward, it'll go bite. And then it'll bite in and then you get drive. So that's a clutch. Can you see it? That, that'll move out and in. Just like that. So that'll be a heavy bloody bang when that engages and disengages, I'm sure. So what we got back here then? Steam equipment, steam stuff. Hmm. Got to be a bit careful around you because it's, it's not exactly the most uh, safe place in the world. But yeah, you've got some pipes and stuff up here and steam equipment and maybe water equipment. But yeah, there's that, there's that wheel. Here's the inside of that wheel. Wow, that is massive. Massive, massive. Must be about 12 feet high, that wheel, something like that, maybe. Yeah. It's a beast. It is, it's a beastie. So, uh, what, have we got, what have we got above us then? It's quite a high ceiling, way too high for what we've got in here. Hmm. 
Maybe there was some more equipment that used to be in here in the past, but it's kind of gone. So this is a slidey door. Does this work? No, it's, yeah, it does work, but it's covered. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been breeze blocked for some reason. Yeah. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. Why would they bre breeze block that then? But here's the um, the belt. It's still present on this one. Look, see the belt, and it's like leather. It's leather belt. It's actual leather belt. Amazing. That is a leather belt. Oops, sorry. And how old lines? Don't know. Yeah, and that that's have to be stitched many, many times because of course there's many pieces of leather probably in that. It might be leather, it might be something else, but that goes directly onto that big wheel. So that's definitely where it worked well, from. Really? Feeling, uh, feeling um, dangerous? Yeah, I'm, I'm up there. Well, feeling dangerous? Out. Look, here's the old belt. Well, I'm just looking at the belt first. This belt, maybe it's not leather actually, it might be material. It's made out of material. It's a coated material belt. Mm, and it goes all the way up to that wheel. Right the way up there. Ka ching So, ooh, yeah. That, that goes up onto the top of those um, water silos, containers, yeah. water silos out there. Ladder going up. As you can see up there, ladder going to the top of the silos. Hmm. Well, we can, we can go back out there later if you want. Yeah, definitely. Kill ourselves later. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh, right. It's a different room. Now, this is interesting because now on the walls, we've got some very nice, very nice um, tile work. So this power room, probably power room, whereas that's the machine room, but this is power switching room. So they tried to make this look posh because it's all modern and posh and worth it, you know? Imagine it's Yeah. But they've done it out a little bit more swanky to be like in a modern and up with a future. And there's a little hole in the wall for the, uh, uh, little hole in the wall there for one of the bearings. And that's actually connected. That's yeah. on the other side of that wheel. So that's where they would oil it. That's the um, the wheel is on the other side of that wall. So that would be for oiling. Ah, here's the back side of part of a motor. Part of a motor going through the wall. So maybe that motor was halfway on this side and halfway on the other side of the wall. It wasn't fully showing. Look at all this electrical stuff. In fact, before we go too far, that's a belt. I think that's a belt. Look, that belt is pretty knackered. But look at this. It's a ratcheted, geared, geared uh, and chain-driven relays. Chain-driven relays, look. Is this like... A continual switching system so you you run this so you've got a, got a start and stop control or it doesn't connect why doesn't it connect oh hang on there's another one underneath ah the one underneath I think you have to push two at once hang on I don't get it. I don't understand how it works. There's two levers, but neither lever seems to connect. So I don't understand. Mm. The chain's come off here, look. That chain is off. That chain would normally live on this. But I don't know how you kind of get that working, but ah well. I'm not gonna get my fingers dirty for that, I don't think. I don't think we're gonna get it working. <laughs> Somehow. Ah, big old electric electric boxes with um, solenoids, solenoid relays, chink chink, magnetic solenoids, chink chink, 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 turn off and on. Did you climb down there? 
Did somebody climb down it? Yeah, I did just then, but the rumours have it that Taunton and Wellington link up by our tunnels and as low as tunnels underneath Wellington. No way. And this one goes, it might be a power power bit, but this one goes all the way down to the back and then there's a door at the bottom of it. Mm. Yeah, so as you can see, there is a footpath kind of thing you could make your way over there. Yeah. All right. All right. Yay. So we're in the electric room still, but we've got this uh, little bit that we can see out to, ooh, a bit of a hole in the floor. Yeah, Danger. Danger. Oh, yeah. Danger. That looks like someone went through it with that foot as well. So what we got here is, whoops, let me get the camera down. What we got here is the uh, water part, which would have been possibly where the water wheel would have gone, or they probably used this to dump all their chemicals and as they used to in the old days and they didn't give a toss. They used to just dump everything. So, mm. Plug my poop in. But uh, yeah, electrics room. I wonder what's on the back of this thing. Just curious now. Is there anything on the back of it? Whoa, what the hell are they? What are they? What the hell are these things? It's like little little springs. What are they? What are these folks? Are these metal? They look like metal. But what are they? And they're on the back of this electrical device and they're all like rope going between them. But they almost like like tuning forks or something. I got no idea. That is bizarre. There's the uh your grills that would have been on the back here have been taken off. Whew, no idea. No idea. Right, let's get in here then. Oh, what's this then? This looks interesting. This looks kind of interesting. I think that's just heaters. Might have either been heating or it might to be dissipate energy. <laughs> like resistor pack or something to dissipate some energy. Are they going out, are they? Oh, yeah, we're going to um, have a look at the ladder here. You can, hmm. ask, you can get to the ladder here, Matt. Yeah? Yeah, Matt. Just watch you don't slip off that thing there, because it's bloody horrible gunky water down there. And it's quite, it looks quite... Well, I sh uh, we went round this side last time. Mm. And um, round that side, you've literally got to hold onto a pole. You've got about two inches to put your feet on it. You've got to shimmy yourself across. Fine Otherwise, yeah. you're in there. Mm. Uh, it's pretty mad. That's, that's we, we didn't know this was here last time when we climbed it. You're going for it, then? Yes, shall we? Yes, you shall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you shall, and, and I shall uh, watch you. I shall stand back and film, just in case. Yeah. By all means, knock yourself out. <laughs> Is it raining out there still? Uh, drippy. Not, not drippy. Give me gloves on, because this looks like it's gunk central. This looks like a mess. Ugh. Oh, is it a thunderbolt <laughs> I know, I was just thinking I'm going to have to take mine off. Oh, I see it, yeah. I don't really know if I want to take my bag out there to be... Are we um, coming back this way? Here he comes, guys. The legend, the secret ball. Look imagine at that, it's like a that. professional. Can you imagine falling in that? Yeah, <laughs> you'd be I stinking. I think I'd just commit suicide after that, to be honest. <laughs> I just wouldn't want to bother living after falling in there. That is mank. That is just like pond scum, chemical waste hell. Blah. Oh, this looks good, doesn't it? Quite good, like this. A little chalk or something in the bottom. Chalk and powdery stuff. Mm. Who's doing it then? Oh, here we go. Lunatics in the house. It's funny how we, we always seem to send Jess on these missions. Like, it's like go on in, Jess. Go on, Jess. Oh, yeah. A bit rusty up there. It is a bit. You're gonna. You're... Oh, it's gonna beat Jess. 
I, I, I don't think it can come off because it's higher than the thing it's attached to. So I don't think it can come off and fall away. She's got... That's what I like about Jess. She's got real balls. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we need to know if it's possible for us to do it. And if Jess can do it, then, oh, sexism. We can yeah. definitely do it. No, no, we... we got Jess in reality. We could catch our goonads. Yeah. We don't want that to happen. She hasn't like started slowing down or freezing up or anything, like no adrenaline problems. Now, the only trouble is what you step onto might be a risk. That's right. That's the risk. What you're stepping onto might be the really dodgy bit. Quite uh, is it really rusty? Yeah. Is there anything up there that's worth seeing? Uh, there's just a tank, and you could see into that concrete cylinder if you put up there, but I might not. Well, if you're going to step on anything up there, make sure you step on large metal long eye beams. I'm going to let someone else do the rest. Okay, I don't blame you. It's probably just not. It's probably just not worth it. That's why we sent Jess up. Yeah, right. And we're not going to risk our cameras and and get wet and die when we Jess would do it for us. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> now, is there any evidence here of like water wheels or where water would have gone? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah. Are you going now? But yeah, Matt, that's what I was talking about earlier. When we couldn't get through that window, we had to come through this side. Right. When you were saying about falling into that gun, you'll see what I mean now by how. Like, well, what you walked on that edge. Yeah. We had to get on, 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 on this side flying. and then hold onto that rail with all the barbed wire on it and put your hands in between it. Mm, and God. That edge. That's some serious exploring, Matt. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's got done, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. So <laughs> there's a big old um, chimney there, which may have been that that's where the heat and steam might have been produced over there. So it might have been steam produced there and piped into this building to produce um, turbine electric, possibly over here. And you can see they've got big old uh, wires that would have been for electric going in that direction. Look, it's going from there over possibly there. So that could Sam, be it. Do you mind? Sam's doing it. Sam's going for it. It's going faster as well, which is wobbling it more, which means there's more chance of it destroy it being destroyed and jam, uh, yeah, jam, jam with it. Yeah, no, he will become jam probably. He's be, stop being Sam and he will become jam. <laughs> yeah. Sam, I jam. It looks like there's some, there's some substantial eye beams going across, but Oh. Some of them are mess up there when you look at it from the snap Nah, he's not having it. He's not having it. Bloody loonies look. But Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's much bigger than where we've been so far. But yeah, look at the uh, the electrics uh, oh sorry I'm pointing the wrong direction. The electrics came in there. They also had an older one, look, that's fallen apart there. But I reckon it did. It used to go across there. These trees probably weren't in, in here because you can't have electrics going through trees like that because it's just going to short straight out. So, um, yeah, those trees probably weren't there. I like this ladder. It has, like, two... Yeah, it's not as stand, it? Yeah. Sorry, mm. Sam, I only recorded that in hopes that it might fall. <laughs> you know, we, we nearly had a viral video then. Sam, you're letting us down, mate. Uh, Could have fall next time. I might have hit that 1,000 subscribers then. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a valve. A valve. Oh, yeah, because that was a bit. right, I know. You can see where they all used to be. Just come up here, this wall here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come up here. And then mm. we couldn't get through that bit, so we ended up going around the other side. We tried to get over it. I definitely want to check out that chimney here. I wonder how deep this is, yeah. 
There's no way to find out, really. Um, we need Sam, Sam, uh, <laughs> I'm calling him Sam now. I call Dan Sam and Sam Dan. We need Dan's underwater drone. Oh, yeah. Or we could just dangle Jess in and see how far down she goes. Mm. <laughs> we could dangle a we, we could dangle a magnet in there and uh, see how far it goes down till it hits the bottom. Okay. If you want to know what's in there, there's water up to about here. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. Can you pull that with my hand? Oh, wow. So that's the way back in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back in. I think. Squeeze. Oh, this is the gratuitous um, selfie mode. Gratuitous. Oh, I could do this a lot quicker if I didn't have a wire connecting me for the battery. There we go. Right. Here we go. Just hope we don't fall down into any holes. Hmm. There we are, secret vault. I understand behind the scenes, they uh, la laughingly call me secret fault, fault, fault. <laughs> Ah, what's up now? Oh dear. Injury. Yeah, no tricks, yeah. Oh no. Okay, yeah. It's all good. It's only a few drinking STRs and stuff I'll get. Mm. Ain't, ain't nothing on what I've already got. Jess. Whoa. So, what have we got? Oh, we've got 58, 57, 56. I haven't recorded 40 minutes in here already. It's yeah, crazy, yeah. isn't it? 40 I've got, minutes. We've got 20 minutes left. Four, 40. 40 minutes. Let's get back in this room and I'll change out me, uh, change out me doodad. Yeah, I left my memory card in there, my um, bathroom Hmm. Shoot. Like Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. We've got fourteen seconds to discover. There's a ceramic thing there and it goes down there and then blah, 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 and whoosh whoosh and bing bang bong. Yeah. Yeah. Could be some equipment. Yeah, crazy. Mm. There must be some footage online of this place running. I'd love to see it all going down. Yeah, there must be. So this would have been a separated room from out there for some reason, maybe because this had dust. That's why they say, as they say it seems to be like vacuums. Vacuum stuff, maybe? Mm. These are like vacuum heads, look, or could be, could be heat or vacuum. More likely to be vacuum, I suppose, but... Maybe they getting rid of certain fluffs, defluffing machine, in some respect. So, mm. don't know why my head's hurting for some reason with my torch on. Ugh, not comfortable. Oh, there's another. There's another door down here leading into a different room. So we got the back of the equipment here. Another room. Oh, is it a, an alleyway? I think it goes out from that outside. But where this big brick wall is here, mm -hmm. we have going down that bit. Right, okay. Whoa, there's. Oh my god, what the hell's going on down there? <gasps> no! That's a drop. That's a bit of a drop. You could, you could easily injure yourself if that wood gave way underneath that. That's, that's a drop down there. Is it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, have a look. Mm. Oh, yeah. What? 
Big wheel. Big wheel oh my that god. Straight into the water, wouldn't it? That might be the water wheel. That might be on the other side. Yeah. And what have we got here though? So this is another part of the things and there's there's big uh, takeoff wheels up there, look. It's a big takeoff wheel. Let me just have a quick look, but this is still all under cover. But yeah, so let's have a look at the watch watch where you're walking, because look at that. <laughs> Yeah. A bit dodgy, but look at this wheel in here. That's crazy wheel. Hope you can see that. It's a bit wobbly this bit of metal we're stepping on. Right. Oops, we've got little little corridors, little walkways. And then we're out into another big area. Oh, step down. Oh my, oh, you're having a laugh. No way. What's that, man? No way. Oh, we can go down. Look at, are you seeing oh this? Oh my God. Are you seeing this? Guys, this Look at cool. this. This is the water wheel. The water would have gone through here, and look at the size of that beast, and it would have come across here in beams, probably like lots and lots of beams. That's bonkers. And that is a deep drop down there. And that is an archway. That would be basically the river or the stream. On the other side of that bit there, that's where they used to let the water in and in. It used to come through this bit. Oh, yeah. uh, it used to come that way, did it? Yes. It was like, that way. That, that is higher than this. Ah, yeah, the right. That's the yep, yep, yep. Yeah. yeah, you can see that 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 there is the bit that they would turn to lift and lower a sluice to let water in and out. Because you can see the, the the well. Look, this is part of the wheel. Look, that's disintegrated. Look, that's half of it. Whoa! Look at the spokes. I don't know whether they've rusted off or been cut. It's hard to tell, really. It was amazing that I was thinking this was either here before it was built or had been brought in and then built and been around it. Yeah. Because there's no way they got this in during production. No, well, no, they could have possibly, um, I said possibly it was a mill before. taken it in through the roof, but yeah. But, wow, that is a piece of work. I mean, look, how, look how big it is compared to... Luke, for instance, you know, Luke stand up against it, and then so it's 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 more than six foot, so it's about that's about ten foot, so it's twenty foot high. So it's about twenty foot high. That water wheel, and it would have come all this way. There would have been sections coming all the way across here, all the way across, all the way across, all the way across onto this side. Imagine the force that would have come off that. It'd be unstoppable, wouldn't it? Definitely, yeah. I mean, even just to turn that is crazy. Mm. Thing, isn't it? And they say with these things as well that once they get going, they are hard to stop. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like if you turn the water off, it's still going to keep going. So if you've got a lot of equipment connected up there that's relying on this, and this is turning, you will not be able to stop this in a hurry. This does not just go bing, stop. <laughs> there's no way to do that. So there's effort. see if we can get up here and have a look at the sluice. Gotta be careful there's no like secret holes in the floor. But Whoa, yeah. Oh. yeah, this is the um this is the mechanism for the sluice. And that goes with that bar through here. Now I have to be a bit careful. But there's the mechanism for the sluice up and down. I don't know where you'd have actually operated that from. Do you Come Seems like at that the end. Top of this and flown down. Mm. It's crazy. So. It doesn't make sense, really, is it? If that yeah. That. Water power. I mean, that would increase the power as well, wouldn't it? Going down like that. I mean, this is the this is how they used to do it in the past. Water power, not electric power. So water. Yeah. Well. So Free energy. Power. Free energy. You know. It's, hmm. Where they probably use water. 
Although India's got a nice little nuclear industry going for itself now, so I think it. Yeah, it has a lot of nuclear power stations, in India. Hmm. Well, well. See you later. What's it saying? Recording failed. What did it say? Recording failed. What's going on? Did it say recording failed or something? Then? Hmm. I don't know quite what it was meaning there. I said something like recording failed, but it, mm, fingers crossed it is still recording. So that's the water wheel room. And that would have powered everything you see in the whole of the building, probably. Apart from maybe steam engines on the other side, they might have done that as well. But, uh, oh, here we are, like a, so like a lithographic press, perhaps? Is that a press? Lithographics. Whoa, there's some motors there. Those are big bad boys. Look at these. Is that a motor? No, it's not a motor. It's brushes. These are actually like little bristly brushes. It's just a scrubber. It's some sort of scrubbing device. Scrubbing. Wow. The amount of stuff that's in this place is crazy. I'll take a photo of that. Looks quite nice. And get the old uh, scrubber. Let's get the old scrubbing, scrubbing heads. Hmm. So some sort of pressurized, pressurized barrel in there. Let's go and find out where they are. But uh, you've got to watch where you're walking because there's lots of little holes in this place. So this would have been a delivery, delivery uh, zone. Hmm. The complete beetles. Complete beetles, but it's a laser disc, I think. Hang on. Is it, isn't that a laser disc? Stereo. Stereo laser disc, yeah. It is literally. It's a CED. It's not a laser disc. It's the old um, capacitance laser disc. Well, it's capacitance disc, CED, rather than laser disc. Oh, I see. We're still in the same room then. It's just much further down. Yeah. We put Harris fencing around this bit, yeah. but not around the rest. Ah. Oh, dodgy. Yeah. Dodgy, dodgy. Oh, look at these. These little trolleys. Little trolleys. Wow. There's so many little nice gems to see here, you know, nice little funky gems. Mm -hmm. Wow. So many bits of equipment. Oh, there's a weird door here. It's, it's like a fire door. Has anybody seen what's through here? No, it's not going to open. That fire door is like proper jammed. Hmm, fire door. Oh, don't like to go down there. That's bad down the back. Oh, around the back of the equipment. Okay, well, let's go and have a look somewhere else then. So, are we heading off out through this direction? Oh, right, okay. Is that the brushy machine? Is it the brushy machine you're talking yeah, about? It's yeah. It's weird. I thought it was a motor to start with, but it's like brush. So he's uh, take. What's that? A brake? That's the brakes you're taking off, is it? Uh, is it? Yeah, that's a brake, isn't it, or something? Not sure. No, it seems to. It looks like the the, the cog at the other end. Yeah, it's attached to the oh, wheel. Oh no, it's been it the other way, Sam. This way. That's to that's to position it, I think. It's a positioner. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every place you go, better stuff here as well. Oh, no. <laughs> Pokemon. Boobymon. Boobymon. What, what, baby? This looks like it would have had control dials and stuff in it, but it's all been nicked and ripped off and smashed and... Yeah, that would have been cool if had the dials still in there. Yeah, oh, big handles. Look, you know. Ka ching. Oh. You know. So when I pull that, it does this. It goes. Chung. Wow, yeah. Chung. This, this looks like some sort of um, printing press, this bit. Lithographic printing, perhaps. I've got a funny feeling this might be what they were doing here. It's got a funny feeling, it looks like some sort of printing printing device. Reverse forwards, speed. Stop, stop before changing speed. So it must be gears then, so you couldn't just turn the motor speed up and down, it was probably gears, so you had to stop the whole machine, change gear, and then turn it back on, otherwise you'd grind up the gears. So, anything out through this store? It's been like slightly... Uh there's one room, there's a couple of machines in there. Not much though, no? No, I don't know if you buy machines or not. Yeah, there's a little lock on here, but somebody's pulled the door off. Strangely, I don't know what happened to the audio, but uh, it seemed to disintegrate into digital noise, so I will tell you what I'm thinking, which is another room full of equipment, but kind of hard to know what rooms did what and what we're looking at but it seems like we've got some sort of pump here on the right hand side belt driven pump and there we go you can see and a speed controller again It seems like that was a pump on the left hand side. I'm not sure what this piece of equipment does. Hmm. Very mysterious. Tell us in the comments below. Here's the audio is coming back now. I think it's starting to work again. Oh well, perhaps it's not working again. So, what have we got here then? Um, this may be motor driven or at least those are brakes, those are brake mechanisms, and as you move the lever in and out, you can engage or disengage the brake, or perhaps the clutch. That side, is that a brake as well? It is as well. Mm, there we are. It's two brakes. Brakes. Two brakes. Yeah. I'll leave the other guy talk now. He seems to know more about it than I do. Ooh. What's this? Seven magazine. But it's not been opened, it's still in its plastic wrapper, so it can't be pornographic, because uh, I shouldn't really say that, because it's like it's demonetized for just saying that word, probably. Huh. We'll have to do a subgene. Oh, that looks low. That's, that's, that's very far down there. Oh. Wow. Hmm. So when he goes in, it might go even further down. Yeah, horrible. Horrible. Oh well. Funny old place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed that. In your, in your video, as you go, here he goes, here he goes, here she goes. <laughs> There's Jess. Here, he, here we go. Here we go. We are going. We are in the process of going. We've gone. <laughs> no, it's just like as Sam goes, here he goes. He always says, like, here he goes, here he goes. <laughs> like, I, I've got to make an admission here, although it's not an admission that any of my people who watch the channel know, because I know I do this. 
Well, I say so all the time. So I go so, so. So here we are now. So there's a so. So there was one in there. So, and then we go, oh, so. Look at that. So. Yeah, right. So. So, 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 so. So, so. I've got to stop saying so, but I don't know how to. It used to be okay. I used to say okay, okay, okay. I got myself out of that one. Now it's so, so, so. So it's been a substitute word, you see. Yeah. Yeah. And if anybody didn't actually know that that's what I do, it's now going to bug the shit out of you because you're going to see me doing it all the time. So, yeah. And go back to the start of the video and count how many times you've done it. Oh, no. Like, comment, let him know how many times you said it. The well, that's it, yeah. And then the, the one who's most accurate won't win any prizes whatsoever because I can't be asked. So, yeah. <laughs> Wow, so far I've been blown. I've been blown away with all the stuff we've seen in in this place. It's yeah, it's great. I like that it's overgrown as well. Yes, yeah, a visual feast, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we've got like a little uh, office with pigeonholes for mail or something. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's like there's there's all sorts of things that could go through into like floor bits. You know, it's like you don't know whether you're stepping on something that could fall through or. So what's this then? This is like a portable, portable weighing scales or portable weighing scales. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! You know what this is? What? Look at that. Stitching. It's a portable sewing machine. Wow. But that must be for like leather and that's like industrial sort of like bush bush bush. It's like it's going to a rave and it's like going bush, 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 bush. That's a big boy. Oomph, oomph, oomph. Yeah. Yeah, clocking in cards. This is where they used to clock in and out. Oh, right. That's what it was, was it? A pedal. Oh, that's what the, that was for. Oh, yeah. Wire goes up to here. Manual, manual sewing machine. Oh, wow. And it's on a little wheelie thing, so you can wheel it around, you know, and so like... That's awesome. You can ring up, you know, like ring 999. I need the wheelie, mach wheelie machine for stitching. Bring it over immediately. <laughs> mm. So, there we are. And there's a door in, so that would probably be the way the workers would come in then if they had this here. This would have been where they came. Yeah, they come in here, possibly lose. Nope, that's a storage room. Storage room, and oh, the floors are all manked out in here. But this is their mail and yeah, office. Do we really want to? Do we? Do we want to go through this way or not? <laughs> Does it go anywhere? No. Doesn't go. <laughs> doesn't go anywhere. Does it come back round? It comes back round. Yeah. Oh, that's all right then. Not so bad. Uh, just watch the mouldy destruction under the feet. Oh, what happened then? What happened then? Oh, it's okay. I keep thinking it's like creepy crawlies getting me, but wow! Look at the. It looks like the it's the river. It's the it's the under stream it comes in here. Look, wow. it comes in. And it would have been a stream coming down here. It's probably mud has built up here because I reckon that must have been much deeper and the mud silt has built up here. Mm -hmm. And it must have been flowing underneath here a lot more than this. Imagine if it's still flowing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this little... Can you hear it dripping off into the distance? Yeah. <laughs> We're walking on top of the water bits, aren't we, really? That's what I mean, there's a bit in there just then, and I'm just like, oh, are we actually just done on water in general? Mm. So there's another place. drain cover just there, and we just... Yeah. Yeah. So we have there is another bit that's around. Like catching point. Um, so yeah, there's, bits, there's bits out here, there's loads of buildings. So that's where we've come from, the equipment room. So we've come from there, we're going to head out here now. And there's uh, some building bits of gone through now. Oops, get my hat back on, my hoodie. It's getting wet out here. Well, if it gets really wet, I could I could break out my uh, super 
top secret umbrella. So let's go through and I'll, uh, I'm gonna get my umbrella out, I think. This is what I bought this for. This is what it was for. And it's like, ching, get out there. Get the umbrella. There we are. We can now do what the hell we like. That's what this is for, folks. This is called intelligent exploring, which doesn't often happen. There's uh, there's another factory or something down there. More buildings up there. Where we just came in with a crane hoist, crane hoist thing there. Oh, but we can probably dispense with the umbrella now. But uh, still, it was worth it. I'm feeling feeling professional. Get, get in. Oh, mannequins. Wow. So old spray booth. An old spray booth. Wow, it's big old, uh, big old uh, bits and bobs over here. Car equipment. What's this then? Volts amps. Volts, 200, 200 volt reading. This must be the amps then. 100, 200, 300, 400. No, it's probably volts again. Hmm. This is a uh, proper man Mankville. So, up into uh, nowhere. I wonder if I got my uh, silly like turned on. Oh, so. In this area now. Did you want to go on the other side of this, man? I haven't, no, not yet. Oh my god, there's lots of drums here. Yeah. I'm trying to know what an 8 piece kit. Jumanji! Yeah. Sounds like it. <laughs> it didn't sound very good, no. Just, just, <laughs> just is just letting her expressive qualities get out there. She's, yeah, she's just like, yeah, let it go, let it go. <laughs> oh, here we go. What the, what the, mm, mm, mm. What the, mm. There is an easier way around to climb into it. I'm here now. <laughs> ah, bloody hell. I think I've got my safety boots on so I ain't gonna get no nails through my feet, but oh yeah. It's like Gran Turismo. It's, it's a sports car simulator. Oh what? Hang on. This is a this is a ham radio transceiver. What the hell is this doing here? It's not just a receiver, it's actually a transmitter. Wow. It's a ham radio transmitter. What the hell would that be doing there? Drake TR7. That's bonkers. It's got to be really wrecked now, though, being in here. God, I like I mean, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Oh, yeah. It's all rusted out. Manky. But that, that would have been good in the day. But that's, uh, yeah, a totally wrecked ham radio transceiver. Unsafe to, pl unsafe to plug in. There's a pit. Pit with bikes thrown down there. What's, make, what's making that? Woo. There's a double there. Woo. Woo. Yeah, Matt. What? Oh, my God, I used to have one of these. I used to have one of these. I, I literally used to have one of these in my bedroom. I know I know exactly how this works, yeah, no, seriously. Please tell me what it is. No, it is, it's reel to reel. No, it's audio, reel to reel. It's a recorder, isn't it? It's a recorder, yeah. You got your stereo and you got forward record. Yeah, you have to hold the button down to get it to go into record. You've got to hold that button down to get it to go into record. But the mechanism's a bit manky, and you can pause it there and press the button to start it, and then the pause will jump down. 
but it's not working because it's all knackered. Yeah, man. These were brilliant quality when, when tapes used to have hiss, you know, like little compact cassettes would have hiss. This had no hiss. In the days when there was no CD recorders, this was the way to, to record without any noise. Wow. Noiseless. And Akai was one of the best recorders there were. Yeah, that would, that's, that's, you know, that would have been worth money if it wasn't just left out in the, in the... Thinking about it, a lot of, um, poorer places still use these, like, you know... Yeah. Films like 8 Mile. Um, yeah. They use, I'm pretty sure they use that to record. Yeah. Um, was it 50 cents? I think we would get rich or die trying, I'm pretty sure you use something similar to that. Yeah. Because, like, back in those days, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the Bronx and stuff like that. Yeah. So they never had the money that. to, uh, yeah, they never had the money to buy all these new... The BBC used to use them as well, but they used a different format. The, the tape was recorded on in a different way. So if you put the BBC tapes on these, they would play backwards and you'd heard half the other track because it wasn't recorded in the same four spaces. It was recorded in different ways. So, um, yeah, Revox is the, the uh, BBC used to use. But, yeah. So if you ever get a tape and you try to put it on one of those and it doesn't play properly, it's probably because it was recorded on the alternate system, the Revox professional system. That was classed as a home system we saw back there. And then there's the professional systems. And it's an old telly as well. That old little, little goggle box. Wow. There's no way that was an actual Ching. TV, no? Yeah. Well, people people, people would that. have sat there and watched images on that. No Boys, way. Boys, you would have yeah. sat around your family dinner and yeah. done that. Boys on the live stream, um, do any of you know about like the laws of boating? Because we were back there and we were speaking, we were trying to speak into the harbour master and we were like, all right mate, and he was like, proper f miserable looking bastard and he just didn't with say you in order to power your portable television, yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then that big chimney is just on that side, but I think it's used. Ah, okay. Oh, right. Oh, green spots coming in, but it's, it's, this building's not too bad though, is it? It's drier than some of the other buildings we've been in. Mm. Mannequin, clothing, dresser, dress mannequin. Oh God, yeah, it is. Is this the uh, torrent of rain that we were hearing might come later? Is this it? So it's not going to get any better, is it? It's an old. Uh, that's a weird one. I think that's so you can sit on it. It's like it's an umbrella, but it also opens out as a seat. So you can sit on it as well. Know. The weather's going a bit mad. Apparently, it's been raining for the past twenty minutes. Mm. But it hasn't. So got a bit of can we get to any other buildings from here, or? Um, I think it's pretty much only this one. That. That's it, is it? Well, there is another bit which is inside there. Mm. I don't remember how to get to it. Ooh, it's coming in there. Oh. I'm going to back off. Oh well. So we'll stop recording for a bit and uh, catch you in a bit. <laughs>